Hello, everyone, to another week of Xbox Live Indie Games. This time, we're taking a look at the games that were released in the week of July the 6th to July the 12th, 2014. We're going to press start right now. What do we get when we press start? We get the party. And yes, I'm sure you recognize that menu. What is it? Well, we can see more hot games that came from Team Shuriken. So yes, you remember you remember Team Shuriken. They made all of these jewels in the Xbox Live Indie Game Crown. Now we've got The Party. So let's see what this is about. I'm going to start a new game of The Party. Okay, let's play. That's what we're doing. Let's play The Party. I remember that character. From the previous Team Shuriken game we were playing. Yeah. This is how it went. Oh, but this is completely different. We're not able to play our PC game. Our computer is uh, burning for some reason. We can do the emergency solution or we can throw it by the window. Let's throw it by the window. Yeah, that seemed like the best way of handling that. I gotta call our friend Spencer. Spence, our computer's not working anymore. How are we gonna play our hot games by Team Shuriken? And here's Spencer. He seems pretty upset about our dead computer. I'm not sure if that's being sarcastic. And we're in, it seems like our character is not sure of it either. And I don't know what he's talking about. Why did we call this guy? Why are we friends with Spencer? But he wants to organize a big party. He wants to bring the hotties and the twerk. He wants to do that. And then, uh, okay, we're saying good idea, but you don't know any girls. And then Spencer's mad about that. He's getting red. What does he want to do? Okay, he's contacting everyone in college. It's a gigantic party. Free access for the sexy girls, which I guess means we're charging everyone else. I didn't hear anything mentioned about there being an entry fee. Where is this party going to take place anyway, Spencer? This is going to be at our house, Spencer? Because you didn't say anything about that. Alright, he's going to invite one of the three most beautiful girls of college. Cindy, Jenny, or Lauren. I guess we'll do them in order. Press A for Cindy. We don't know her number. We don't know where she lives. But we're going to stalk her at where she works. Because we know that. This is a wonderful game, so okay, we're the devil. And she she's gonna come with all of college's cheerleaders, all of them, come into the house for the party. Alright, we're at Snack, which I guess is where she works. Alright, alright, there she is. It looks like she's met Spencer before. Uh, we could call her ugly, we could say that we're here to eat a little something, or that there's a party tonight. Well, the goal is to invite, him to invite her to the party, I guess, so let's say that. Uh, she seems enthusiastic about the party. It's gonna be at 10 o'clock. Oh, it, no, it was sarcasm. She apparently has had bad experiences with Spencer before, so that ended in failure. Next is Jenny. I guess that's who we're talking to. We don't know who were her number. Uh, but we know where she lives, because we, we watched her going home. That's what Spencer does. This game's kind of going in a weird direction. Let's ring the bell. Alright, I guess that's her dad. Can we speak to Jenny? We need to talk to the la about the last math exercise. Or the last exercise of biology on human... Re well, I think that will probably have more luck talking about math, Spence. Okay, I guess the only math that the father is concerned with is how many bullets are in his gun. Let's come back later. Oh no, it was a joke! He just, you know, he points his gun at random passers-by. That's how he gets his jollies. He's kind of bored. Oh, Justin! So dreamy. Uh, she seems surprised that our fa her father did not shoot Spencer straight away. I guess it's happened before. All right, what do we want? I handed her a piece of paper. And take it off! I guess that paper has... Okay, party tonight. You and... Okay. I don't know if that's going to work, Spence. We're ex we weren't exactly the most convincing. Okay. We can either ask Lauren about the party or prepare to get to the party. Well, I don't think 
Is that a cow being abducted by aliens on the right? But I don't think we've had much luck so far with the first two, Spencer, so let's go talk to Lauren. I don't expect things are going to change much, and, uh... Her, okay, so her father tried to kill us as well. Because we scratched his car. Well, okay, I shouldn't say us, because Spencer's not us. We're the other guy who threw his computer at the window. Spencer is doing this all on his own. Oh, we can Spencer can get his can get her address. Because he has to go there to get the bill. Apparently he's being charged for the bodywork on that truck after being run over by it. I don't think that's how that works. Alright, maybe she's actually gonna come. Not much of a party though. I mean she if she shows up, she'll be the only one, right? Let the party begin! Alright. Oh. All right, I guess for the party to begin, we need to buy the game, and we see what we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what's going on here. We Spencer invited one person. I mean, technically three, but it didn't seem like the first two were interested. But uh, yeah, it seems like there's a party that's happening, but I can't imagine how it's happening. And I, this does this does nothing to fix our broken computer, honestly. And that's the main problem we're dealing with. This party, it's completely ill-advised. Why did we even call Spencer? He's just going to end up in jail. Sooner or later. Probably sooner. Probably sooner. Maybe something at this party will put him in jail. That's the party by Team Shuriken. It's uh, a lot like some of the other games they've made in which there's no real gameplay or anything, uh... And it's kind of, it's kind of creepy a little bit. So that's uh, the party. I mean, maybe... look, no one in this game is a real person. It says it right there in the disclaimer. No real people were used in this. Next up this week on Xbox Live Indie Games, it's getting serious with Tassarus 3012. You can tell by this music, it's real serious. Alright, it's a one-player game. I'm pressing the save button. What do we got? What do you got to give me, Tassarus? Okay, that's what Tassarus has to give us. So, let's talk about Berserk. Not Berserk as in Guts and Griffith. Berserk as in the early 80s arcade game. Because that's basically what this is. And I guess that's Evil Auto that's chasing us. Gr Berserk! Well, actually, he can't go through the walls, and Evil Auto could. Auto mine entering training. Okay, they call it the Auto Mine. Let's see if I can shoot. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a second thing. Alright, that thing seems more serious. Maybe that's the Evil Auto equivalent. Well, I can go through one of these exits. Alright, there we go. So, Berserk was an arcade game from, like, the early 80s. It was very popular for its time. I poured it to the home consoles as well, and it's very similar to this. We're a guy going through these rooms, fighting robots, shooting them as they shoot us. We have to. Di oh, I died. We have to get through the rooms in a certain amount of time, or else a thing will come to kill us. In the arcade game Berserk, the thing was a smiley face called Evil Auto. In this one, it seems to be that auto mine that we saw in level one. The auto mine doesn't seem that dangerous, though, because it can't go through wall. Huh? Can't go through walls, which is what Evil Auto could do. I can also shoot these blue things, and that takes walls away for a bit. I'm not sure if there's a reason for me to do that. I'm not sure what this first circular thing is. Looks like I can shoot it, and it kind of bounces away. Alright, auto mine. What about it? What's happening? Alright, my shots do nothing to auto mine. Alright, that was close. Okay, it can destroy the walls. Yeah, that's definitely the evil auto equivalent. Even though it can't grow through walls, it can destroy them. Berserk, not a game you see cloned very often. So, even though this is definitely a clone, I'm kind of kind of lenient towards it, just because it's not something that I see a lot. Warning. Yellow Assault Mine has been activated. 
So, I guess that first thing can kill me as well. I would assume so. It's a lot sl- uh, One of those exits is red. Probably should go through it. Auto mine. Auto mine entering training area. Weapon portal has been activated. You have a, a voice telling you what's going on. Which, again, is very similar to, uh... To Berserk. In which you had a synthesized voice announcing things like intruder alert, get the intruder, stuff like that. I keep talking about Berserk instead of this game, which is Tassarus 3012. In the far-off future of 3012, there are only mazes. And there are, gun there are guns akimbo in the year 3012. That's what also exists. And death. Death by infinite robots. I keep talking about Berserk, but I mean, that's because this this game is so... This game seems a lot like it. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all we need to see for Task Force 3012. I don't know if there's anything else to this. Yep. Yeah. Game over. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of like Berserk. A lot like Berserk. Spelled with a Z. Oh, oh well. Not enough spaces. Not enough letters. So that's Tasser 3012. I mean, it plays kind of like Berserk. And that's what it is. Next up this week is Controller Buster, with art by Patrick Ryan. Let's press start to begin and witness all this art that's going on. Alright, I have the single player mode. The versus is locked in the demo, though, so we'll just go with single. What is this? Okay. Oh, pressing buttons. I'm pressing the prompts that appear. And every time I succeed, I get a point. If I get one wrong, it'll subtract one from my total points. So much art happening here. I'm kind of astounded by it. By art, I wonder if he means the, uh, the button icons. So they're starting to get faster now. Starting to get more challenging. Oh, oh. Yeah, I got one wrong there. And I got another. So you see that every time I get one wrong, it subtracts one from my score. And that's the idea. It'll get faster, more will appear on the screen. And as that happens... Whoops. Yep, now it's getting overwhelming. Yep, and then it fills up, and then it's game over. When all the spaces are taken, that was my score. Got 62 right, 9 wrong for 53 in total. I, I don't know, maybe you could, you know, play it against someone else. See who can last the longest. Not much of a reason to play it in single-player mode. Unless, of course, you're practicing up for that competitive Controller Buster esports scene. That's just thriving right now. I guess you could play this with someone else. Maybe once. Not sure what you would do with it afterwards. So did Patrick Ryan make the icons or the background for the title screen? Yeah! Next up is Amazing Princess, Sarah. That's Sarah right there. We press start. So now we can play as Amazing Princess Sarah. Look at all, all these options it has. It has fake achievements, like watch the game's intro, which I did. I also got this one. Reach a save statue with only one health point left. I did that. So, you know, fake achievements. I got those. Credits? This is made by Giovanni Samadhi and Derek Chu. Haraniku Games. I can't remember if we've seen anything made by Haraniku before, or if this might be their first one. Let's start a new game. 
And, okay, yep, I'm fine with that. We'll say okay, overwrite this. Alright, one day the king was in his castle, and all was good with the land. Until demons... Oh no, said the king! Demons? Who will help me? Oh no, busty demons too! And King is very confused about what he's feeling right now, I guess. And winged demons... They're all... Mm, they're all around. And they love you. Demons love you, King. And King loves them back. And then Sarah's all, What is going on here, Dad? And demons are like, you know, this is your father's private time. And then, you know, it's the intro to Ghosts and Goblins. Except that's the main character, so she can't be kidnapped. That's who we're playing as. Alright, there we are. So we were dropped off somewhere else in the castle. Okay, we can move around and I can save. The game kind of pauses for a bit when I save. I can jump, I can swing, and one of the big uh, mechanics of the game seems to be... There we go, picking stuff up. I can pick stuff up and throw them. I can pick up dead enemies and throw them. I can just pick up anything, you know, just seen in this castle and just throw it. Sarah does not think much of her father's decor, I guess. Sarah does not care how big these items are. She'll pick them up and throw them. So, I mean, from Explic standards, the sprite work is pretty nice. The controls are... Could be better has a leveling up system, it kind of seems a little bit like a Metroidvania-ish type of game. Though I don't know if there are multiple ways we could go, or if it's linear. I haven't seen a branching path as of yet. Uh. Picking up dead enemies and picking up the uh, decorations in the castle to attack. I think it's a pretty nice mechanic. I think that works well. Honestly, the game is quite a bit better than I thought it would be. After seeing the title screen, I was kind of thinking it was going to be maybe like a Team Shuriken-esque adventure. But no, it's not. I threw a bomb. Now we can pick up the dead fire demoness. The different enemies seem to have different uh, attributes when you use them as weapons. Yeah, like I said, the controls are... not really sure how to describe them. Maybe not quite responsive enough. Which is very important, of course, in, you know, a 2D side-scroller. Just something... I don't know. Something a little off. I can't really define it. It's not real. Oh, I'm gonna pick up this big fat demon. Oh, I can barely jump while I'm carrying him! Ugh! Oh, so heavy! Oh no, I want to throw him. I want to see what he does. All right, let's see what he does. He's just really heavy. I guess he does a lot of damage. Gonna hit that switch. You know, I said that the sprite work is all right, but, you know, thinking about the past of x Blake, it's probably just gonna turn out that this was, like, these are edited sprites from another game, that someone in the comments is gonna point that out. It's how, he, how that usually goes here. Don't know if that'll be the case. That seems to be how it happens. Alright, I opened up a... a wall that was closed. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. 
So yeah, by Explic standards, I, uh, actually enjoying this one. Surprise, surprise. What? Hmm. I wasted all my throwing stuff. Nothing else to throw with them. Alright. I also don't know if the music is some sort of public domain thing. Or where it came from. Oh, there we go. Oh. Just got bulldozed by that pink fat demon. Game over. Well, I guess that's it for Sarah. Well, Amazing Princess Sarah's Amazing Adventure. And uh, good timing, I guess, anyway, because we reached the end of the demo. Uh, I mean, this actually wasn't bad. Don't know how long it is or anything. It's only one dollar. I mean, this one actually it, it's, it was surprising to me that I enjoyed it because, you know, you start the game and it's kind of eye-rolling, but uh, it does seem like some actual effort might have gone into this one. Okay, violence, three out of three. Sex, three out of three. Mature, mature content, one out of three? How can you have three out of three violence and sex, but mature content is one? How does that rating happen? You are Sarah, princess of the pre peaceful realm of Kalia. The quiet life of your kingdom was lost the day your father was seduced and kidnapped by Lilith, a demon mistress. Travel through ice castles, cold dungeons, lava caves, and much more. Straight to the castle with Lilith hides. Bring your father and king back home. Five castles, six dangerous bosses, seven crazy new game plus modes. So it sounds like there might actually be a decent length for this. Uh, so I don't know. Amazing Princess Sarah seems actually not bad. Our final game this week on Xbox Live Indie Games is Super Collider. Apparently made by New... Okay, made by New Dawn, powered by a flat red ball. That's the hot new engine sweeping the indies. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. Super Collider, we're back flipping through space, pressing the start key. Oh. Thanks, I think I will have one. When it, when it wants to give me one. Oh, there we go, okay, um. Uh. Okay. So. Uh. Super Soldiers, got it. They're making super soldiers. That national flag, I think, needs a bit more imagination. Okay. Cryogenics. Frozen super soldiers. And various sciencey things happened, I suppose. Uh, I feel vexed myself. Goodness. Were there problems with the vexing subject? What kind of problems? Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, what kind of... Okay, we're the vexing subject, and there's a soldier. Oh, it's shooting us. Let's, uh... I can run and I can jump. That seems to be the only thing I can do. I have hit points that are going down. Oh, I touched that one soldier, and he turned into an X. What's that going back and forth up there? Yeah, I can... 
That's a Humvee, I guess. I guess that's what that was. I'm not sure where we are. Only that we are must be the vexing subject, I guess. And we can kill with a touch. Can't seem to jump as high as I just did. Oh, there we go. Okay, I flashed a little bit, and then I could jump higher. Uh, those... Hmm, not sure if those are power-ups down there or mines. This guy's throwing bombs. Well, I, I X'd him. It seems to be the only thing I can do. Run, jump, and if I touch guys, I X them out. Oh. Yeah, I got HP. HP bonus. All right, I think we can see where we need to go. It looked like that the exit was on the lowest level. And just some sort of electricity trap on the second one. Hope I can get there before my HP runs out. I don't really know if there's any way of stopping that from going down. All right, I did it. Time for the cutscene. This is just cinematic in its presentation. Move over The Last of Us. Well, granted, this one has not had zombies yet, so, you know. <sighs> that seems like an extreme reaction. I don't think that's very professional. Right, exactly. Unseen co-worker. Maybe you have to report someone to HR. What's the matter with Half Shirt? Oh, when will pe when will women learn that their place is not in the science? But wait, what if the science is being done in the kitchen? What then? What a conundrum that is! After all, the kitchen is the most scientific of all the rooms. Is that a mine? I don't know, I... No, I guess it was. Anyway, uh, Anyway, we are, we are told... ...that we have no pla- as a woman, we have no place in the science. We should not be here. However, we think nothing of these, of this unchecked privilege, and we are, we X'd that one guy. I don't know if we can control our Xing. I think that maybe we can't. I think we just do that. So, so, I guess science is happening. That's the impression I'm getting from this game. Alright, what is the next th thing to happen in Super Collider? Are we, I mean, I don't know if we deliberately kill them, we just kind of touch them and they X'd. I, I, maybe it's true, maybe she only does wants the killings and genocides. I mean, I don't know. We haven't really gotten the motivation of our character yet. And we're the only unique individual. We don't look gray. Everyone else is all the same. Is trying to be the same person, taking the same orders. We're the only free thinker in this place. I don't know if that's because we have the touch of death. Or is the fact that we have the touch of death the reason that we are a free thinker? 
Oh well, I'm sure the moral of the story will be revealed in the end. I have an HP bonus. I don't know if I can jump that. You know, we've seen games with the same with this kind of idea before. The idea of like this is kind of a bad game, so we're going to make it nonsensical. And that makes it good. Not sure if this is one is pulling that off. I think we've seen it done better. I don't think I'm going to make it. My HP is just going down so fast. Oh well, it didn't matter either way. Time expired, and time has expired not just for Super Collider, but for Xbox Live Indie Games in general. We had five games this week, the week of July the 6th, July the 12th, 2014. The Party, Tazarus 3012, Controller Buster, Amazing Princess Sarah, and Super Collider. Of the five, I, like I said, I was actually interested in um, seeing how Amazing Princess Sarah went. That seemed not bad. Um, and then, you know... The rest of it is just kind of explig. Explig will explig. So, just remember to play, play explig in the kitchen while doing the science and and be vexing. Then problems occur. That's explig. That's Xbox Live Indie Games. That's, this this was the latest demo video of Xbox Live Indie Games. That's what this was. You watched it. You just did. You can never have that time back. I'm sorry. You can't get it back. It's forever gone. Forever lost. To Xbox Live Indie Games. I'll see you next time. <laughs>